Jubilation at the New Democracy camp as supporters of Greece's Conservative Party celebrate another landslide win for Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis, the leader vowing once again to transform Greece. For a second time, all of Greece is blue. The hard work begins tomorrow to take Greece further ahead. Be well. Thank you very much. It's the second sweeping victory for the Conservatives in just a little over a month after they came out on top during elections in May. But they failed to secure a clear majority needed to form a government, an outcome that forced voters to return back to the polls. This time round, it's a different story. Along with securing over 40% of the vote, Mitsotakis' party is projected to win 158 out of Parliament's 300 seats, thanks to a change in the electoral system that grants the winner bonus seats. The figures put him well ahead of his main rival, former Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras. His left-wing Syriza party garnered less than 18%. It's two points lower than last elections in May. The election result is obviously negative for us. We have suffered a serious electoral defeat. The far-right Spartans party made it past the 3% threshold to get into parliament, results that Tsipras says spells bad news for democracy. It's Tsipras' third loss in national elections against Mitsotakis, who's been praised for nursing Greece back to economic health after its crippling debt crisis. One thing the Prime Minister can't celebrate over is voter turnout, which was low on Sunday. Under 53% of eligible voters cast their ballots, compared to just over 61% during elections in May.